We need more understanding of human nature because the only real danger that exists is man himself. He is the great danger. And we are pitifully unaware of it. We know nothing of man. Far too little. This psyche should be studied because we are the origin of all coming. John had a vision at the end of his life of a catastrophe. It was a world catastrophe. I don't want to speak much about it. One of his daughters took notes and after his death, he, there's a drawing with a line going down, up and down, and under his feet is the last 50 years of humanity. And it simply remarks about the final catastrophe of people. But I have only those words. What is the own feeling about it? The, the world Well, one's whole, one's whole feeling revolts against this idea, but since I have those notes in the door, I don't allow myself to want to listen. I think it's we have always had wars and enormous catastrophes, and I, I, I have no more personal fear much about that. I mean, at my age, if you have, have any house, you can go, so or so or so, because they people spoke. But but the beauty of all the life, the thing that billions and billions and billions of years of evolution build up the plants and the animals and the whole beauty of it, that, that man would go out of sheer shadow foolishness and foolishness and destroy it all, and that all life might go from the planet. And we don't know. On Mars and Venus, there's no life. We don't know if there's any life experiment elsewhere in the galaxies. We go and destroy this. I think it's so abominable. I, I, I try to pray that it will not happen. A miracle happens. Do you find that uh, young people that you see now are aware of that? Because it's in their consciousness? Yes, it's partly in their unconscious, it's partly in their consciousness. And I think dangerous way, namely the way of giving up and running away to a fantasy world. You know, you, when you study science fiction, you see there's always the fantasy of escaping to some other planet and begin a new again, which means give up the battle of the earth. Consider it hopeless and give up.